guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashia Dani, and for today's video, I'm going to be taking you through my footwear collection. So let's get started. I'm going to address the change in the background. Uh, in my last video, someone commented that I need to put more of an effort into my background, which I agree with, which is why I have tried to do this. I'm finding it a little too distracting, but let me know if you guys like this better, then we can obviously do the videos here. Or if you like the plain beige and white backgrounds, then we can stick to that. Let me know in the comments. I have two big blue plastic bags that I cannot even... Oh that I cannot even lift full of footwear to go through. So let's quickly dive right in. So first I've got this. I have no particular order of going through this. I'm just gonna take you through it. Oh my God. And we are starting with my most expensive pair of shoes, which is not that much for like sneakers, but uh, this is my Nike Air. Um, I got this for about 8,000 rupees and these are my only and first pair of Nikes and I really like them because they've got nice fluorescent detail, pastel details. Uh, it's not too much in your face, it's very subtle and it goes with literally everything which is why I love it. Then we've got this little bag and these are a pair of shoes that I have never actually worn. These are brown heels from the brand Metro. They sent it to me. This is their new collection called Princess. And um, I've actually never worn them. It's not really my style. But I think with, for an appropriate occasion, I could actually style these. So yeah. Next up, I've got a pair of black boots. Now I had gotten these. Uh, for a Christmas shoot with Mama Gang, if you guys have seen that video from last to last Christmas, uh, we were wearing black boots and this has no heel, uh, which is why I don't wear it more often because I uh, think it makes my feet, uh, legs look a lot shorter because there's no heel in it. Uh, but, um, but yeah, I want to find more ways of wearing this footwear. Next up, we've got a pair of beige boots. I got this recently for, for my Paris trip because I wanted a pair of like beige footwear that would go with everything and because it was cold, we needed boots. And I think it served me pretty well and it's quite affordable as well. So I quite like it. Next, I've got a pair of beige heels. This is from Charles and Keith. Uh, I, I, I got this quite recently actually, but I don't remember how much. I think around 6,000 I got this for. It's got a nice braid detailing, it's a, it's a short heel so it's very very comfortable and it's a block heel and it goes with literally everything which is why I love it. Next I've got this golden pair of shoes from London Drag which I absolutely love because it goes with all my Indian wear and I don't have to think twice plus the heel is again short so it's very very comfortable and goes with literally everything. Next, I've got a pair of golden shoes. Now, these are five years old. I got this during my sister's wedding because I wanted something I could wear under my lehenga. You can see it's full of sequins, especially in the front, which is the part that would be visible. Uh, it's got sequins in the front and it's again very comfortable, perfect for all the running around. I've worn this to two of my best friend's weddings uh, and I was in charge of a lot of things over there. So I was running around like crazy and these have served me very well. Next, I've got on a pair of heels that is probably my most worn pair ever and the most used ever. And this was a gift to me on my birthday. I'd asked my friends to give it to me because I really wanted a pair of transparent heels. These are from Zara and to a point where they're worn out from a lot of places. But oh my God, do these go with everything. I know they are out of fashion, like their people are looking down upon them for some reason. But oh my God, do these go with literally everything. You don't have to think twice before styling your outfit plus for a short girl these make me look really tall because there are no straps around my ankle or anything like that to cut my legs these directly go till my toes and they are raised and it makes me look really tall which is why i love them i don't think i'll ever stop loving them even if these go out of trend next i'm gonna show you a pair of heels that has been in my wardrobe for 10 years at this point and they're high Okay, so this is a pair of he silver pair of heels that I got for my 10th farewell 
and uh, I got this from Kulaba Causeway because that's where I used to shop at the time and these were for not more than 350 rupees okay and these are really really high and very very uncomfortable I have not worn I've worn them probably three times since my farewell in my younger days when I could handle a heel like this but trust me every time I wore this I have fallen down plus you know this peep toe fashion is long gone uh, but these are so special to me plus they're in such good condition that I never feel like throwing them even though I never wear them anymore next I've got a classic pair of black heels these are something that go around my ankle as well uh, very comfortable heel length and heel style um, really like these these are my these were also given to me on my birthday i keep asking people for shoes for some reason um, classic pair of heels you can't go wrong with it you can wear it with anything and everything next again i've gotten a pair of heels from zara this is a nice pink heel because i don't have any fun colors like you saw my collection i don't have any fun colors so i really wanted like a fun color and i love these i love to wear this on an all black look or an all white look it's like that nice fresh pop of color again a very comfortable heel a very comfortable size absolutely love it next i've got a pair of white shoes these are also quite old actually like six six years old probably uh, these are from Charles and Keith. It's got a nice white uh, breathable fabric. Okay, there are holes so you, your feet can actually breathe and it doesn't get stuffy and stinky. You know what I mean? And it's got a nice little sequin detail on the side as well. It gives me a little bit of a height and these are very comfortable. Love these shoes. Next, I've got a pair of black shoes. These are from Naked Wolf. They had actually sent this to me for my birthday again uh, about six, four years ago and uh, I had worn this all, and I had gone to London for my 21st birthday which is where I wore this and I have worn it every day and I've loved it and right now also if I'm going to go in clubbing or I know it's going to be a really long night and I need to be comfortable but I also need cool looking shoes this is what I would go for I absolutely love these then we have a classic white pair of heels this is from and uh, quite worn out actually at this point because again these are quite old but i love it it's got a nice block heel it goes with everything it's got a little ankle strap and yeah i quite i quite like these heels and they go with everything i'm looking for a replacement for these because i don't think i can wear them anymore Next we've got a pair of shoes from London Rag again. This I got in especially for an event and swear to god I don't think I'm ever going to wear these but they look so hot. It's like a knee high boot and it's got a very nice uh, pencil heel. Very uncomfortable. God these are uncomfortable but uh, I powered through an event and I could not feel my feet by the end of it. Like I have literally removed them in the car and I have come home like barefoot uh, and but these look so hot like everyone at the event has complimented these boots and they've gotten a lot of heads turned so very nice but they're literally still in their box last I've got a pair of pink uh, ju jutis I believe these are called uh, these are from Jaipur and uh, they're pink and they're noisy which is why I really like them like I love the khan 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 that goes with every step I take and uh, very pretty and goes with almost every Indian look that I wear because uh, what I love to do with these is wear a pink bindi so then there is like this color block thing happening which I absolutely enjoy these are my ghar ke chappal these are Actually not ghar ke chappal because I love wearing them outside. These are very furry as you can see. These are from H&M. These are home slippers but I love to wear them outside because they make my feet feel so comfortable. I absolutely would not wear this in the monsoons because it's so dirty. But otherwise I enjoy wearing this. I I love it. I love it so much. Last is a, another ghar ke chappal. Matlab, I don't wear this in the house but I wear it regularly where I'm going somewhere for short distances kind of a thing it's not a look uh, these are from H&M uh, I love the beige because it goes with everything uh, I love the this what is this called this braided thing because it's very comfortable to wear it keeps your feet in it's chappal I don't know how much more to explain it uh, and yeah they're just comfortable 
it's going to be hard to link this footwear stuff down below because a lot of these are very old so i've tried to find similar alternatives and link them as well and if i do find the exact same link obviously i'll link it down below so make sure to check the description box if you guys enjoyed this video then please make sure to like it subscribe to my channel comment below and let me know which pair is your favorite and whether or not you like this backdrop i'll see you guys next saturday bye